This week, NASA Administrator Charles Bolden raised eyebrows at a space conference in Washington when he said this about humanity's future. If this species is to survive indefinitely, we need to become a multi-planet species. So one reason we need to go to Mars is so we can learn a little bit about living on another planet so that when Michaela, my granddaughter, is ready to move out of the solar system, we'll know a lot more about living away from this planet than we know today. As a first step, Bolden laid out a plan for a multi-billion dollar manned mission to Mars by the year 2030. Derek Pitts is Chief Astronomer and Planetarium Programs Director at the Franklin Institute Science Museum in Philadelphia. Derek, good morning. Good morning. How? So how do we do this? Well, the way we do this is that we have to, first of all, commit the dollars to doing this. We really have to change some minds and get people to realize that this is a very important thing to do for humanity. And then what we do, we do is we build the launch capability to get the heavy equipment up there. Then we build the infrastructure on the Martian surface, train astronauts to be able to live there for quite some time, and then make sure we have good ground support even from this distance for them. We're talking about an idea that's as bold as declaring that we wanted to go to the moon in the 60s. Yes. How is this compare as a challenge to that? You know, there's no reason why this can't be done. We can do this just as well as we did that. And when you think about it, for the Apollo missions, we actually started from dead scratch with nothing at all. And we made it to the moon safely in about eight years. So now we have much more capability, much more understanding. And it is a challenge, but there's no reason why we can't meet that challenge. When the president was at the Space Center, we all heard him say, this is something we need to focus on. Let's yes. set some goals. Yes. But when you talk about the money, where is all that coming from and how much will it take? So that's a really great question. It's, I can't say exactly how much money it'll take to do it. It'll be a hundred, a hundred billion dollars, it'll be a lot of money. But the real issue is, do we have the will to do this? Do we really want to do this? Right. If we think about how we've spent money in some other things, you know, the amount of money we spent in Iraq for months, just billions of dollars, the money is there. It's really the question of, do we have the will to do it? Why Mars, which looks like a dead planet? Yeah, Mars is a really great target for a couple of reasons. It's more like Earth than the moon is. It's a reasonable distance away from us. And we really need to go to Mars so we can better understand how the planets of our solar system formed and use Mars to help inform us about how Earth formed. The more we learn about planets like Mars, the more we can understand about other planets both in our solar system and in other solar systems. It was surprising to hear Bolden make reference to his granddaughter. Yes. Because in his eyes, this is something that could happen in 25 and 30 years, or even less. Yes. But what is the plan? Is it a colony in Mars? Do we live in Mars? Well, the first thing to do is to just establish a base of operations so that we can go there on a regular basis and eventually probably build up some sort of a colony there. Because if we think of Mars as a stepping stone, a way station out to the uh, deep solar system environment, that's a good one to use for a place where we go and sort of get ourselves put together before we make the long trip out from there. Derek, in your view, how far off would a multi-planet society be? Oh, I think a multi-planet society is easily uh, decades away without any question at all, maybe a hundred years out. But when you think about how exploration was done on this planet, it's do it was done incrementally and we built as we went along. And now, of course, the whole planet is, is populated, occupied almost every corner. The same can happen for the solar system if we have the determination and identify the real goals that we should try to achieve. Derek Pitts, fascinating stuff. Thanks so much.